it might be re repetitive, but that's usually the way that I find people will learn best. We'll tell you what, let's back up and let's just see where it's at. But if you don't mind, let's have a quick prayer for Yes, us. please. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for this opportunity. Please be with us today. Help us to make the right choices and decisions. Say RPM uh, about 100%. All gauges are within limits. We've got fuel, we've got one light on, but we can ignore that. Uh, Air is clear, we'll, winds off our tail, we'll pick up. And you want to go to the right? Uh, let's pick up, and I'm guessing it will be to the right by the looks of the flag over here to my left. So, okay, yes. and it looks like the windsock shifted as well, so. All right, let's go. And if any of us see anything during any part of these flights, speak up. And you just keep on climbing. Yep. I want to give you uh, air speeds, and you need to be trying to correct to those air speeds while trying to maintain right around 100%. And again, the only reason for 100%, the reason I like it anyway, you give basically 10% both directions. It really just simplifies everything. If you like a different one, that's fine, but make sure to keep it there. But just lift the needles on you. I want you to respond and just keep in mind in, uh, that it's going to be a snap aft, yep. but it's only a roll forward. Do not wait for that RPM ever to increase. You know Once I mean? it stops, as soon as it stops, yeah. you just start rolling it forward and then just gently catch your collective and airspeed at the same time. Yeah. 30. Thirty, 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 thirty. Well, I'm zero now. <laughs> <laughs> Drop that RPM, please. There you go. Thirty. Well, I like it. Come back and forth. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm getting there. Yep. And one thing to pay attention to is just the whole angle of the yep. aircraft. All right, 90, please. A little bit low there. That airspeed is working so much better. Oh, yeah. All right, power and recovery, and let's go around again. RPM. Yep. And yeah. <laughs> Relax those hands, okay? All okay. right. <laughs> All right. On the go when you're ready. And then keep in mind that we're since we are over a soft surface, I did. I like what you're doing before. You're coming up a little bit so that at whatever speed you're going at your skill. You need to be able to handle if that engine wants to fail. Yeah. You know, so if you're a hard, smooth surface, yeah, you can do that whole uh, profile that, that is given the POH. But as it states, hard and smooth surface. And, and that profile... Nice slick that's surface. Right. That's exactly right. And that's the whole pur purpose of that. Because if you have any other surface other than that, that profile is a dangerous profile. Because you will not be able to do a quick stop. Yeah. And remember, when you do that quick stop, it is a quick stop, but you need to come forward, and your collective needs to be cushioning about this angle right here. Well, as long as there you keep go. it, as long as you keep it, you're fine. We are heavy. We're going backwards. Good. Fly right about here. I should have done a little bit more. You were fine. Of course, I like to come in. Good see. You like to come in what? Oh, there go. The, uh, I have a tendency to come in low. Yep. And, Claire, I need to keep it a little bit higher. That's correct. And again, it's not opinion here. We're talking about the physics. If you, in the simple geometry, right? If you don't want to have ground run. You if have, I don't want what? If you don't want ground run, yeah. then Which I don't. in this case, ground tumble. Yeah. If we don't want that, we simply have to have the ability to bring it to a stop. Yeah. And these don't have enough inertia to be low and keep on slowing. Like Bell 206 or OH-58, stuff like that, you know, you can do this shallow flare thing like that and just keep slowing it down, level off, oh, and push yeah. down. 
Well, these don't have all that inertia, so you can't do this shallow flare for that long. Yeah. And so these, you have to have enough altitude that you can stick that stinger down. Okay. Now, if you're too low, you can kick it off to the side so your stinger's off to the side. Yeah. That's fine. And flare sideways. Or spin it so you're flaring backwards. Yeah. You can do those things, but it's not as simple. So what do you need to do? I need to get going faster. Okay. A little bit lower RPM. Well, yep, whatever you gotta do. Are you gonna make it? No. Are you sure? No. All right. So stay here, don't go any lower. Oh yeah, that's right. Just gently, oh, yeah. aft, and lower, gently, gently, gently. Look at that. See, I personally would not have flared probably that much that low. As long as you didn't touch your tail. Yeah. Um, and normally, we wouldn't have. Normally, we would have chosen to extend the glide sooner so we had more energy so we could have done a slip at the end. Yeah. As well as the flare. And then we wouldn't have to worry about having our tail low. Yeah. But again, as long as you're within glide distance, you can hit your spot each and every time without fail. There's no reason we can't, and as long as it's big enough for our skids, that's where we can touch down. I mean, I mean we're talking about as long as there's no vertical obstacles. Yes. If there's vertical, well then yeah, we have to, you know, like if it's down in there, well, well then we have to come down basically vertical. So Daniel, the thing I want to point out here, what he's doing, uh -huh. did you notice as soon as I split, he, he's, he already lowered his collective and he's looking out and turning. Yeah, that's what I need to work on. Yes, those are the crucial things. This is what makes it work. Yep. Respond, respond early. Yeah. So just start leveling here. Okay. Just keep on lowering your collective. RPM's good. I shouldn't have raised the collective though. That's what I'm. Yeah, that's correct. That's the thing. The, the bigger helicopters, you can still use this technique, the exact same technique, but sure. people don't because it's so simple not to, because they have the inertia. Yeah. <laughs> But then it also can aid, in my opinion, it I have been so oh, perfect. Uh, I, in my opinion, it adds to bad habits simply because that technique that you can use on the bigger, higher inertia rotor systems does not work on the smaller aircraft. It can't. I mean, it, other than if you are on a hard, smooth surface. Yeah. Same spot, same spot. Well. <laughs> You little bugger. <laughs> Got the tower. A little slow. And I would have just plowed it. Yep. <laughs> the cool thing is we'd probably still live, maybe. <laughs> Except for the post-accident fire. That's correct. <laughs> so, if you do the split, same time. Split. And you don't even go all the way down there. Only as necessary. Yep. See that? That would be. Feels completely. That's what I'm talking about, that the normal one is if you want to come to a stop. Well, to come in and let's just act as if we're going to way overshoot, okay? Because uh, yeah. that's the that's the thing you were talking about. Yeah, because so. it's like if I know I can stop like that, then it's like... Then I'd rather be able to do that and be like, oh man, I miscalculated going back to the S-turns. Yeah. The hazard of S-turns. And, yep. and that's what I did the other day. I was like doing S-turns, but I was like, I'm still going to way overshoot. Yeah, and then you're stuck. and then, Yeah, that's how I felt as well. <laughs> And something you guys probably already know, but if you're in grass or rice or anything else where you can see your downdraft touching the ground, you know that spot that's closest to you? Or the wind. It's exactly where the wind is. It's all, also exactly where, when your mast gets to it, that's where you're going to get ETL. This training is not the, the normal point A to point B. We are putting ourselves at more risk, all right? Yeah. But the fact is, it's better to do this training and get the practice with somebody that's doing it versus having an emergency and not have yeah. the understanding on it. So what would you, there you oh, go. Yeah, you slip it. Well, 
let's just practice slipping. Let's see, and then you want to see how you do it. Oh, a little bit more. There you go. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Did you do it side? Uh, you know, the, it could have gotten better at the end there. No worries. You don't have to worry about the tail. That way. After the doing that, like at first, you know, you actually you feel more comfortable. Oh, definitely. Well, that, but you still have to watch your blades now. You do. And but the cool thing is, is that you can easily see your blades because it's tilted. If you're looking out and seeing your blade, or if it's backward, you see it right there. So where are we going to end up right now? Long. Okay, what do you need to do? I guess I should correct it now versus later. That's right. Because I'm getting tugged on my seat. Yep. There you go, much better. Come on. Watch that RPM. Yep. Much better. Hey, I got there. Isn't that cool how that works? <laughs> got there. <laughs> All right, on the go. All gauges still look good. We still have one light, lots of fuel. All right, let's go ahead and go no higher than this, extend out, and then we'll come over, uh, go to about 70 knots. Okay. Or 80, I don't care which. Good entry. Nice entry. And what are you going to have to do to make that spot? I'm going to have to come down. All right. Ah, yeah. So always, whenever you're doing the slip, cyclic in the direction of travel. Yeah, I struggled with that too. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. And now you're going to get a charge. I'm going to be... <laughs> oh, uh, you like those, aren't those? <laughs> but you see the usefulness of it, right? It's yeah. not We're not just being careless here. I mean, this this is actually serious stuff because Be, yeah. you can make a spot that you cannot make in any other way because it doesn't, if you don't do that with that amount of energy, you can have your collective all the way down and you'll still balloon up. So yeah. there is no other way to physically do it. I mean, you could have your engine off and your collective is full down. Yeah. You'll still go to balloon up. And let's come in more to angle to our spot, all right? Because we also need to have this in mind is that we don't have to be lined up with our runway. Yeah. yeah. This is something that most pilots struggle with because it's so ingrained in, in primary lined training. Lined up, train That's up, right. ground track. The wind, shoulders forward. That's all that matters, shoulders forward on the wind. And you see that little gap in the trees. I mean, we we can recover high. It doesn't matter. But I'm just wanting to. Oh, 45 to the spot, though. Yeah, more than 45, because the idea is if you came around on a turn, it's like, well, I can't come back around and line up. Who cares? But see, like this, now you can come right in and be just fine, right? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Watch that RPM. Yep. Go ahead and recover. Yeah, that was... No worries. And now the wind switched again. Make the correction earlier. Okay. Earlier. So remember, whatever spot's not moving up or down your windscreen, that is the spot you're guaranteed to make. I, yeah. Unless you have some severe wind shear or anything else, but you will make that. Okay. The thing is, you'll have enough energy that you'll go past it. Because remember, that's if you were to go straight. Yeah. It would touch you, down at impact. Yeah, exactly. So or what straight. you end up doing is you come into that spot, but then when you realize, okay, I'm going to be having more energy, I'm going to go past it, you slip. Yeah. And then you can just touch down. But that way, you can always have a slip. I've had it had happen plenty of times. We're coming into a spot, and if I wouldn't have done that slip thing, I wouldn't have had enough energy to get there. Because you know, some people it's like, okay, I'm going to come to this spot and I'm going to slide over to this one. And, you know, kind of going ground effect and yeah. go a little ways. Well, that's not going to be good. There you go. There you go. Watch the RPM because we feel that coming up. Yeah. There you go. See, I nah. <laughs> now we're getting out here. And the RPM now, RPM. No. no worries. Just take it long. Take it long. It's fine. So leveling here. Don't worry about the spot. Okay. 
and then quick stop, forward right now, and pull. There you go. That was way better. That in real life, you could have been out in the fields or anything like that and been perfectly fine. Because it's Which RPM? Yep. Nah, I'm just gonna. Yep. Just go forward. There, that's much better. Much better. Did you feel that you didn't have that sink yeah. right before going forward? Yeah. That's the crucial thing. Do never have that sink before going forward. And again, see that immediate turn? Yep. So crucial. So crucial. Are you going to make your spot? Yeah. I like a high RPM, though. You do, you say? Much better, much better. I feel like I was struggling there with a the little, little kind of a flare. Not yeah. struggling, but. <laughs> but you're doing so much better on that whole maneuver. And one of the crucial things that I would have to say about that is you did a lot better getting that cyclic back forward after you're doing a, yeah. you know, a quick stop. Because with that energy, you literally would be come forward, and if you had no engine, it would have been forward and leveling a pull. And you would have touched down. In real life, with no engine coming in there, you would have barely wanted to slide at all.